Ramsey. I'm here today to help navigate you through WordArt. So after you've clicked the link on your screen, on the Social Studies screen in your slideshow, you're going to come to this site, WordArt, and right in the middle of here it says Create Now. I'm going to use that button. I'm going to press it, hopefully. And it's taken me to the screen where I want to input my words and I want to design my word cloud. The first thing I'm going to do is take my cursor over here. Um, we're already in the words section. You can see right up here at the top it says words. And I want to go ahead and add my words. But you can see there's some examples up here that they've put in. This word, the cloud, the art. And I want to get rid of those. I'm going to just take them out right now. I'm deleting them. And now I'm going to type a new word here, type in a new word. So this is where you're going to input your 15 words. So when I did my American Revolution um, example, I typed in the word American Revolution. And then I hit enter or return. And now I'm going to type in my next word, um, which might be... Um, um, I'm, I'm thinking of war, words for War of 1812. Um, I'll type in the British for the American Revolution. Um, I'm going to type in 1770, whoops, 1775 to 1803 was another example. I'm going to type maybe flag. And so you're going to put in each of your 15 words and once you've input all of your 15 words then we can worry about other things beyond just the words themselves. So if you look to the right of American Revolution it says size, color, angle, font. What I'm going to do is go in and figure out my color and here I, ch I clicked it and you can see there's all kinds of cool colors right here. Default is not what I want. I want to choose my own colors and when I did mine I kind of rotated back and forth between red, blue, and black because the black is going to show up and really stand out and that's what I wanted to, ha to have happen. If I use these lighter colors it's not really going to stand out that much and I felt like red, blue, and black really represented the American Revolution. So I'm going to choose red, and I'm going to hit apply, and there's my first color. Then I'm clicking on British. I'm going to use this blue, and I'm going to hit apply. And then for 1775 to 1803, I'm going to choose black and hit apply. And I'm going to keep doing this all the way through each of my words. So I'm going to go back to this flag, and I'll do one more, and I'm going to make it red hit apply. All right, I'm done with my colors. For the size, I haven't really messed with that. I didn't I didn't change the size. I let um, the default button work for those. The next thing I did, I went down all the way down here to where it says shapes and I clicked on that and I had already gone through this previously to figure out what shape I wanted and as I was going through I came across I think I went to geometric, yep, and I found the star. So I knew the star was the shape I wanted. And then I went down to fonts right here. I'm going to change my font. I can choose whatever I want. And I don't remember what I chose for it, but I kind of think lobster is pretty cool. So I have lobster, I think. Let's hit add font up here. Nope, that's not what I want to do. So I think I just clicked on Lobster, and now I go down to Layout, and this is pretty cool because I can choose all these different styles. And I liked Random, and that's the one I chose. And then I'm going to go down here to Style, and it says Word Colors, Shape, Custom, um, I just left it as it was. 
In fact, I left all of this the way it was. I don't care about animation speed because that's not going to have anything to do with the picture I'm doing. So after I had gone through each of these, then I went over to visualize. And I am going to press visualize. And here's my star. So it doesn't have many words, it has four, but it's giving you all the same thing, kind of all involved into this star. Well, what if I don't like what I did? I can go back into any one of these words, shapes, fonts, layout, and style and change anything I want to do. So um, I like it right now the way I have it. And when I'm done with the way I want to have it, I'm just going to go up to, I could print it if I want to, if I have a printer at home. But if I don't, I'm just going to go up here to where it says download. And I'm going to click on that download. And I'm just going to do this standard PNG. So I'm going to click that. And it just downloaded. And I'm going to double click down here where it downloaded. And here is my star, a big version of it. What I want to do though, when I finish, is take a screenshot of my picture and upload it to Seesaw. So on your iPad, you're going to click the home button, which is down here at the bottom of your iPad, and then um, the, power, the top button up here along the, the top of your iPad. I'm going to click them at the same time. I'm on my, la uh, my laptop right now, so I'm going to do it a little bit differently, but here's my screenshot. I have to line it up with the way I want it. Take my screenshot, and then I'm going to go find that screenshot in my photos um, when I'm in my Seesaw, and I'm going to post that photo to Seesaw and let everybody see my beautiful American Revolution star, but it'll be your beautiful War of 1812 Word Cloud. Can't wait to see them. If you have questions, you know you can always email your teacher, and we will be happy to help guide you through the process if anything happens. Have fun.